This is EY Stream. He thinks he looks pretty cool. But Pro Gamer 27 doesn't think so. <gasps> Please make him feel better and follow his Instagram and Twitter. Go, go do it now. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream back here with another oh, Minecraft video. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can live inside the adorable fluffy things that we call pandas in Minecraft without any mods or add-ons. That is right, guys, 100% vanilla Minecraft, which means it's going to work for any version, whether you guys are running an iPhone, iPad, Android, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or PC, even your watch, literally anything you can run Minecraft on, guys, you will soon be able to live inside a panda. Now you may be thinking, hey, that's true. Why would I want to live inside a panda? I don't know why my voice just went like six million octaves high, but that is a very good question. The answer to that is, is because have you not seen pandas? They are not only the cutest animals on planet Earth, guys. All right, I know if you think another animal's cute, let me know in the comments down below, but pandas have, are definitely cute. You have to agree with me there, guys. They are also incredibly fluffy. Like if you can think of the most, like a giant teddy bear, that is what a panda is, guys. They are so fluffy and so comfortable and so nice. And honestly, I would love to fall asleep in the arms of a giant teddy bear, which is essentially what a panda is, guys. But let's take it to the next level. What if we could fall asleep inside a panda because you are literally living inside a panda? I mean, how awesome would it be to live inside essentially a giant fluff ball? Because in my head, that makes a lot of sense. I would, I wish I could live in pandas in real life, but luckily, guys, we got Minecraft, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. If you guys are excited, I got a little bit of a challenge for you today. You see these pandas? You see these pandas? Look at them. They're so they're so cute. Look, look at the pandas, guys. They're just so cute. And they have the big, they have the big nose, guys. So here's my chance for you. I want you to try and hit the like button with your nose. As if you're a panda, guys. I want you to hit the like button with the nose. Because they don't, they don't have fingers. They can only hit the like button with their nose. So I want you guys to try and hit the like button with your nose. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are actually able to do it. I'll be pretty impressed. We're going for 3,000 nose likes. And of course, guys, if you are on the channel, as always, make sure to slash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to ling, ding, ding, to never miss an upload. So without further ado, guys, it's time to live inside a panda. Now, you may think, Jordan, is it really complicated and hard? Do I just walk up to a panda? How come, how come I can't go inside? Why can't I go inside the big fluff ball? I just want to live inside the fluff ball. Well, guys, there is a one important step you got to do first. So first job, you want to spawn down your panda. Then you want to go ahead and get a name tag called home. Go ahead and name your panda home. And check this out, guys. In three, two, one. Ready? 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 And boom! Check this out, guys. We are living inside the panda. Is this not the most epic thing ever? We are actually inside the panda right now, guys. Look at this. Look at this. You can look out the panda's eyes. And you can actually see right there, guys. Look at that. We are inside the bamboo forest. All we had to do was... Go ahead, name our panda home, and then we walked into our panda, a boom, we just entered in, we went right through his furry coat, and landed in the inside of his body. Is this not adorable, guys? Now, obviously, we need to do some analysis, because I'm actually curious. What is all this green stuff? Oh, no, yeah, guys, I've just had a... Oh, no, that's his... Guys, if you figured out what this green stuff is, let me know in the comments down below, but... Pandas eat bamboo, right guys? That is all the bamboo digested in yucky poop form. Oh, bleh! This is gross, guys. I'm inside a panda's body. I don't know what I was expecting, but I kind of forgot that they eat a lot of bamboo, and that would explain why there's a lot of, uh, oh, look, there's there's wee in here too, guys. Oh, yuck, yuck. Oh, I'm staying on this side of the room, thank you very much. Yeah, there's all the bamboo poop over there, but without... But I'm just going to try and ignore that, guys. We're going to have a look around inside the panda. So, uh, of course, guys, check this out. Look, there's other pandas down there and a pig. And we're inside the forest, guys. It's really, really cool. We're literally living inside the panda. So, of course, guys, let's let's start on this side. This is, uh, I believe this is the face of the panda, guys. These are his two little eyes. We've got some beds here, guys. So you can take a nice little nap in the panda's head, you know, if casually, if you want to. We've got a, uh, we've got some, ooh, we've got some shulker boxes here with a ton of bamboo in them. And for extra storage, guys, I've just noticed we have shulker boxes in the walls as well. Have a look at that. So you can go ahead and store stuff in the side of your panda's face, which is really, really cool. Because, you know, I feel like a chest would, wouldn't really fit inside a panda's body, but these work really, really nicely with, like, the black strands of the panda, guys. You can actually hide these shocker boxes there. 
We've also got some uh, green shocker boxes. I'm assuming more bamboo poop. Got a nice little bamboo, of course. Pandas love bamboo. You can't have a pan you can't have a panda without some bamboo inside of him. We've got a, a little a little table and some chairs here, guys, so you can have a nice talk with your friends about uh, pandas and bamboo while looking out at the beautiful uh, bamboo forest from inside your good panda friend. It's beautiful, guys, and we've got another little panda plant over here. All around, guys, this is pretty cool. You can live inside the panda, and it literally feels like you are inside a panda because you can see the face, you can see the butt, you can see the tail, you can see look out the sides, and all you see are other pandas. It is adorable, guys. It's great. And honestly, who wouldn't want to live inside a panda? But here's the thing, guys. You're probably thinking, this is all cool and all, Jordan, but how do I actually do it? Because you've shown me that you can live inside pandas, but what's actually going on here? How do I do this in my own Minecraft world? That's exactly what I'm going to be showing you in today's video, guys. But first... We need to get out of this panda, and well, there's only one way out of a panda, and that's through the poop hole. Looks like we're going at the poop hole, guys. All right, here we go. And out we go. And poof! Check it out, guys. We are back where the start of the video was. Here is our good friend, Mr. Panda, who was the one um, who we went to the first time. As you guys can see, I go inside the panda, boom, jump out the poop hole, and bang, I am back here, guys. How awesome is that, guys? You can literally just go straight up in the panda, enter it inside, and boom, you are inside the panda. Jump out the poop hole, which is a little bit gross, and bang, you are back with your panda, guys. Pretty awesome, pretty cool. But you're probably wondering, how does this work, Jordan? And how can I get this in my own world? And that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you right now. So first off, guys, let me uh, just show you what's going on. Right under these leaves. It may just seem like a normal pile of leaves, but under here, guys. Ooh, hello, hello. We got some command blocks. Now... There are only three command blocks here, which is kind of ridiculous, guys. I spent ages trying to make sure that this whole system only works with a minimal amount of command blocks. What's essentially happening, guys, is it is detecting for a panda that is named home. And then when you walk up to that panda named home, it's teleporting you into the panda house. Which, guys, if we do a little bit of flying, you can see here is our panda house, guys, that we were inside earlier. As you can see... It is a giant panda, essentially made out of wool, as if it is a house, it just looks like a panda. We've got the face here, guys, those are the eyes, and we were just inside there, but we, with the use of command blocks, it makes it seem like you are going into the panda, guys, which, if you don't tell your friends about the giant panda, they'll be so like, they'll be like, what? This is one of the best things, guys, to show off to your friends, because... When you go, hey, look, I live inside a panda, they'll be like, what? You walk inside the panda, you get teleported here using the command blocks, and they'll be so confused, guys. And it, it, it's just really something awesome to show off to your friends about, guys. It's really, really cool and really great. So now I've showed you that the whole thing is just three command blocks. You may be thinking, what's inside those command blocks? So it's time to show you guys. All right, guys. So now it's time for me to show you exactly how you can do this in your own world. Now, first off, you're going to need somewhere to actually have the house guys now you could build a giant panda like i did or the easier thing to do guys is go ahead and build a cube out of white wool and then decorate the front of it with black wool to make it just look like a panda head which means when you get teleported inside using the command blocks guys it'll still seem like you're inside a panda it just won't be as massive especially because building a giant panda it's a lot of work, guys, and honestly, it's not easy to build the panda. However, if you want this exact panda design in your world, guys, I'm going to put the download link in the description below so you don't actually have to build the panda. The download link will be in the description below after today's video. However, if you do want to make your very own panda, it's generally easier just to build a cube like this, guys. You can pause the video now if you want to copy this. But once you have chosen where you're going to put your panda, guys, it's time to do the commands for this. Now, for this, guys, you're going to need a few different things. The first thing is a name tag. Then you're going to need some anvil. You're going to need some pandas. Of course, guys. I mean, what? This whole video is about pandas. If you didn't have pandas, we would have serious issues, guys. Then you'll also need some redstone repeaters and some redstone comparators. And finally, guys, to top it off, of course, you're going to need the command block. To do that, you do slash give space at P space command underscore block just like that guys hit enter and oh, have a look at the guys we have our beautiful command block which is going to make all of this possible and before we get started just a few things you guys need to do first do slash game rule space and you want to do send command feedback space false just like that and hit enter then you want to go ahead and put one more command in guys you want to do slash game rule space show 
coordinates space true as you guys can see in the top left hand corner we now have a coordinates and that's going to be very helpful for this whole system once you guys have done that we need to choose a place where you want the panda to where you want your actual panda because of course guys you remember that when we, when we walked inside the panda that's what caused us to teleport into the place. So let's just say we put the panda here, guys. Obviously, like I did, you would put the panda house far away from the actual panda, so it actually feels like you're going inside the panda. However, for the sake of this tutorial, guys, we're just going to put them next to each other. So we've got our panda here, guys. And now what we need to do is grab an anvil, and you want to get a name tag, and you want to call this home just like that, guys. And make sure there are no capitals there, guys, so it is really easy for you when you're doing the commands. Then what you guys want to do is go ahead and name your panda home just like that. As you guys can see, it'll appear right above him. And if it doesn't, just try again until it does. And once that is done, you are good to go. All right, so we've named our panda, guys. Now we need to choose a place for our panda to go. Once you've chosen a place, the easiest thing to do is first off, grab some sort of block and mark it just like this. This is where we want our panda to sit. Because if our panda just goes walking off, then our house just goes walking off. And that's a little bit of an issue because, yeah, the, your house could literally just walk off and you could lose your panda house. So you want your panda to be staying somewhere all the time. So choose a spot, guys. And you may notice the three numbers in your top left-hand corner. Now, these will be different depending on your Minecraft world. Make sure that you use the numbers that are in your world, guys, and not my numbers for these commands, guys. It's super important. I recommend getting a piece of paper and writing these down. Once you guys have those numbers, you want to choose like a little place where you can just dig a few underground stuff like this, guys, where we're going to put the command block. So let's put a command block down like this, guys, and you want to open it up just like that. Then you want to go repeat, always active, and you want to do TP space at a square bracket open, name equals home, and then you want to do a square bracket close. Then you want to go ahead and put the coordinates of the block that you chose. So for me, guys, this is 49368. 319. So if we go ahead, we're going to go space 493, and I've already forgotten. This is why I recommend writing them down, guys. 68 and then 319. So we go ahead, space 68319. Now remember, those numbers will be different depending on your world. Make sure to use your coordinates. And of course, guys, if you're having struggle keeping up with the commands, guys, take a screenshot of this, and then you can use this to get it on your own Minecraft world. Once you guys have done that, as you can see, our home panda is being constantly teleported to this block right now guys so we're not going to lose our home and our home is just not gonna stroll off down the street because that would not be good so now that we've done that guys we need to make it so that when we walk in here it's going to teleport us inside the house so for our second command block guys what you want to do is chuck one down make sure it is one block away from our other one you want to open up you want to go repeat and then put it on always active then for the command guys it's going to be execute space at a Square open bracket guys, name equals home, and then you want to do a closed square bracket like that. Then you want to go space, and you want to go tilde, which is like the little wiggly dash guys, and you want to do three of those. Then you want to go space, and you want to go test four space at P, and then you want to do an open square bracket, and you want to go R equals two, and then do a closed square bracket just like that. All right, so now that we've done that guys, we need to do the bit that's going to teleport us inside our little panda home. So you want to grab your redstone comparator and you want to place it coming out of this new command block that we just put down. You want to place this right here, guys. Make sure the two prongs are on the repeating command block and the one little sticky thingy out is on our normal one. You want to open this up and you want to go TP space at P space. And this is where you're going to put the coordinates of your panda house. So in this case, guys, if we jump in here, ours are 48368. Three, two, one. Remember, guys, use the nut, use your coordinates from your world and not my numbers. So mine are four, eight, three, six, eight, three, two, one. All right, guys. So we've actually set up all the commands to teleport us inside the panda house. You guys ready to see this in action? Ready? In three, two, one. Walk up to that, and boom! I am inside my little panda head. So now that we've done that, guys, we need a way to get out, which obviously is our poop hole. This is very similar to our other commands, but it is a little bit simpler. So for this, guys, what you want to do is jump down into your poop hole. You want to dig one block down, and you want to dig two blocks down just like that. Then you want to place a command block, and we're just going to dig this out for now, guys. You want to place one command block here, and you want to place one command block here. And then between the two of them, guys, you want to place a redstone comparator. In our first command block that is directly under our poop hole, guys, what you want to do is you want to open this up, and you want to put this command. You want to go test four at P r equals one and then do a closed square bracket just like that guys 
And you want to put that on repeat and then always active. And as you guys can see, when I'm near it, it's going to light up the redstone comparator and go into this command block. And then for this one, guys, you just want to go TP at P space and you want to put the coordinates of your panda. So if we jump back out of here, guys, we want to stand right in front of our panda. Let's say we want to go here. So my coordinates are 497-68322. Remember, they'll be different for you guys. So mine are, let's jump back down here and you want to put in your coordinates, which for me is 4, and then I believe it is 321. Oh, I can't remember. We're just going to, we're going to pray that that's the one. All right. And we're just going to make one change to our command, guys. Instead of R equals one, we're going to change that to R equals two. Then when you've done that, guys, you can cover the top of it up. And now check this out, guys. When I go ahead and jump into the poop hole, bang, check that out, guys. I am teleported back outside in front of my panda. And then I can go ahead, walk into my panda, walk out the poop hole. Up, up, up. Let me in. And boom, it's that simple, guys. Really, really awesome. And this is a great way to show off to your friends to show that you are actually living inside a panda. And honestly, they'll be very, very confused if they don't know what is going on. Of course, guys, if you don't want to build a giant panda head or, you know, a giant panda, because personally, I think that this thing took me a bit of time, guys, to build. Um, honestly, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, guys. Have a look at this, guys. The inside is pretty awesome. If you want this exact world with the panda and all the commands are already done for you, I'll have the download link in the description so you can download that, guys. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. And of course, guys, if you are new channel, make sure to slap the subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, anyway, stream out. Bye!